A new era of computing, Huawei's ternary chip breakthrough. Huawei has officially unveiled the world's first ternary logic chip, a breakthrough that shatters the 80-year monopoly of binary computing and ushers in a new era for global computational power. Can you believe it? The Soviet Union poured national resources into a secret project for over a decade, only to fail. Now, a Chinese company has succeeded. It might sound unbelievable, but Huawei has a concrete patent for the very technology that Soviet scientists couldn't master during the Cold War, the ternary computer. This breakthrough has put the dominant binary system of the last 80 years on notice. How did they do it? At its core, the concept is simple. The computers and smartphones we use today are binary, operating with two states, like a light switch that is either on or off. Huawei's ternary chip, however, adds a third. Half on. State, working with three states, minus one, zero, and plus one. For example, to control a traffic light, a binary system would need three transistors to manage the red, yellow, and green signals. A ternary chip can do the same job with a single transistor simply by switching its state, effectively doubling efficiency. The real game-changer is the sheer impact of this technology. For the same task, power consumption is more than halved while computing power skyrockets by 60%. It's like widening a two-lane road to three lanes. Information flows faster and with less effort. OpenAI's training of GPT used 100,000 chips, with electricity costs equivalent to a small country's annual budget. With Huawei's technology, that cost could be slashed in half. This chip is also incredibly stable, making it nearly impossible for malware to infiltrate. So how did Huawei succeed where the Soviets failed? And how will this small chip reshape the global tech landscape, the Soviet endeavor, and Huawei's success? Soviet scientists were incredibly ambitious. In 1958, a team led by Nikolai Brzezintsov at Moscow State University built the world's first ternary computer, Seton, Using negative, zero, and positive voltages to represent the three states, it was faster than binary computers of the time and simpler to program. However, its success was short-lived. The hardware couldn't reliably distinguish the half on state. Even a slight temperature fluctuation would corrupt the data and the project was eventually abandoned. Fast forward to today, and Huawei's progress in the chip sector has been nothing short of explosive. Technical details from patent documents reveal that its proprietary ternary chip uses a unique quantum state isolated gate technology. By building a stable signal isolation space with multi-layered, nanoscale insulating materials and a custom-designed logic gate circuit, Huawei has successfully controlled the misjudgment rate for the 0, 1, and 2 states to less than 0.0001%. This completely solves the signal crosstalk problem that plagued ternary technology since the Soviet era. The 1960s Soviet computer, Seton, remained a laboratory project precisely because it couldn't reliably distinguish between signal states. Huawei has also demonstrated strategic foresight by building a complete ecosystem around its ternary chip. The underlying architecture of its Ascend AI platform is deeply integrated with ternary computing logic, boosting parallel processing efficiency by 300% compared to traditional binary architectures. The Harmony OS has even had a ternary OS interface reserved since version 2.0, supporting three-value logic from the file system to memory management. This vertical integration, from chip to system, creates a new lane in the digital world and is poised to redefine global tech competition with a disruptive new architecture. NVIDIA's CEO, Jensen Huang, recently remarked, Anyone who underestimates Huawei is incredibly naive. NVIDIA has dominated the chip industry for decades, yet now it must watch as Huawei catches up from behind. This is a clash of two different approaches. The Soviet Union focused solely on hardware without building a complete ecosystem, while Huawei took a full-stack approach, from chip design to software adaptation, leaving no stone unturned. A lesson in history, market versus state-driven innovation. A look back at history reveals a valuable lesson. The Soviet Union invested immense resources into semiconductors, successfully developing transistors in the 1950s through a state-controlled system. However, 
its planned economy model neglected the commercialization of these technologies for civilian use. The transistors were limited to military and aerospace applications, failing to establish a consumer chip industry like Intel or IBM. This created the paradox of being able to build ships but not personal computers, and this market-disconnected approach ultimately lost to the Western free market system. In contrast, faced with external technological blockades, Huawei not only achieved breakthroughs in its current ships, from architectural design to 7 nanometers process technology, but also built an ecosystem with Harmony OS that links chips, operating systems, and end devices. The launch of the Mate 60 series, with its self-developed chip and OS, was the result of deep collaboration between High Silicon, Hubble Investment, and the Consumer Business Unit, supported by a supply chain of over 1,000 domestic suppliers. This systemic innovation enabled Huawei to transform laboratory breakthroughs into flagship products that are recognized by global consumers, proving that technological progress must resonate with an industrial ecosystem and user needs. In today's global environment, which is facing headwinds from deglobalization, these two historical narratives provide a stark contrast. A closed-door approach to technology, even with a single-point breakthrough, cannot build a sustainable competitive advantage. Only a company like Huawei, which champions independent innovation while maintaining open collaboration, can truly break through in technological competition. This demonstrates that future innovation is not just a test of technical ability, but a comprehensive competition of ecosystem building and global resource integration. The Unintended Consequences of the Tech War The U.S.-initiated semiconductor blockade is essentially a high-stakes gamble to reshape the global industrial landscape through technological hegemony. This multi-year tech war has not only failed to curb its competitors as intended, but has also triggered a strong backlash through a butterfly effect in the global supply chain. For example, after the U.S. Commerce Department tightened chip export controls to China in 2023, NVIDIA was forced to suspend sales of high-end chips like the A100 and H100 to the Chinese market. In just six months, its revenue in China plummeted by over $11 billion, and its stock price temporarily dropped by more than 20%. Facing pressure from the capital markets and the risk of oversupply, Jensen Huang was forced to publicly call for a restoration of exports to China, stating that the restrictions would weaken America's own competitiveness. This is more than a small improvement. It fundamentally lowers the barrier to entry for AI. Previously, only giants like Google and Microsoft could afford to develop large-scale AI models. Now, small and medium-sized businesses and even research institutions can participate. As Jensen Huang said, 50% of the world's AI researchers are in China, and with low-cost computing power, we can expect to see countless disruptive innovations emerge. Huawei's strategy is a long-term one, with a closed loop from chip to system to ecosystem. When the ternary chip is widely adopted, Harmony OS devices will be able to leverage this technological advantage bringing about a massive leap in user experience for everything from smartphones to smart cars. This isn't just about building products, it's about building a technological empire for the future. The competition in the AI era is fundamentally a competition of computing costs. Huawei's breakthrough in ternary chips is like equipping AI with a throttle, allowing it to run faster while using less. Fuel this will not only change the tech ecosystem in China but will also impact the global AI landscape. Previously, computing power was monopolized by a few giants. In the future, more players will be able to participate, and the sparks of innovation will truly ignite. Technological progress should have no barriers. Making computing power more accessible will benefit all of humanity. Huawei's ternary chip is a ripple in the pond of global technology. From the Soviet Union's failure to Huawei's breakthrough, we see not only a technical achievement but also an indomitable spirit of innovation. In today's highly competitive tech world, a breakthrough like this is perfectly timed.